Oh, oh, son of a... Holy Lord, have mercy. Oh, gosh. What's going on, everybody? Super excited today to watch Country for Old Men. No country for old men. That's what I said. Country for old men. No country for old men. What are you saying no to? I'm saying the name. Country for old men. No. The name. The name, Cameron. No country for old men. What's going on, everybody? Oh, welcome to the YouTube channel. My name is Cam. This is Zay. And yes, today... We are getting into No Country for Old Men. Uh, this is a movie that both Zay and I have not seen. This will be our reaction to it. Super excited to get into it. Uh, before we do, uh, coming to things that we know about the movie, I do know that it's there's like a serial killer or something, and then there's like a lawman. And I think Josh Brolin plays one of the lawmen. And I am aware of like the face that plays the serial killer i don't know if that's a spoiler or not but i do know like i'm aware of like i've seen like on the poster and stuff i know which guy is the serial killer so i, I don't think that's okay. a spoiler or anything but um i also do know that in our texas chainsaw massacre reaction in the comments somebody mentioned this movie and they were and they referred to uh like uh the, like one of the like where the, the guy was talking about using like um like a like a hammer or whatever or a, or, a, or like a dart harpoon or whatever in in a cow's mm -hmm. uh head in Texas Chainsaw Massacre like he was talking about that and we were like oh geez and someone in the comments said oh wait till they see No Country for Old Men so maybe there's something going on with that or something like that but other than that mm -hmm. I really don't know anything else about this movie it's a classic I've heard about it a lot and it's been recommended to us bunch of times yeah. um so other than that zay is there anything you know about this movie uh before we get into it no so i mean everything you stated i wasn't even aware of some of the stuff um but yeah i really have no knowledge on this film so i am super excited to get into it okay yeah i mean it is uh rated r i think it's 2007 mm -hmm. but yeah it'll be interesting the the genre said like bleak suspense drama but they also threw in the word contemplative so that's interesting okay. so like make you think or something like that i could right. be wrong but i believe this was directed or produced or the cohen brothers are involved with this and i think they were also involved with the big lebowski i could be completely wrong about this but um I think that's correct. Uh, okay. Other than that, yeah. Uh, if you guys like what you're watching, leave a like down below. Subscribe to stay tuned for more if you're not already. And if you want to watch our full-length reaction to this and various other uh, re movies, you could check out our full-length reaction to those on Patreon. The link to that is in the description. You can also get three edited movie reactions ahead of YouTube. Are you ready to get into Country for Old Men? It's no country for old men for the last time. Well, I say this country is for everybody. Pandering. There's this boy I sent to the electric chair at Huntsville here a while back. My arrest. Beautiful shots. He killed a 14-year-old girl. Hmm. Told me that he'd been planning to kill somebody for about as long as he could remember. Said if they turned him out, he'd do it again. My gosh. Wow. I don't want to push my chips forward and go out and meet something I don't understand. I can't imagine what it does to your mind to be facing people like this. Oh, yeah. Especially if they say something that, like, insane. I got under control. I mean, that's so asinine to not be facing him if he's not in any way restricted. Yeah. Oh my god, look at his face. Oh my jeez, he looks creepy. Ugh. Wow. That's a wild start. <laughs> 
to the film. That's crazy. Oh, oh, shoot. What is that? I need you to step out of the car, sir. I'm driving off immediately. Yeah, I'm That's not off. looks like a cop. Yeah, not at all. Would you hold still, please, sir? Oh, shit. Oof. Oof. Okay. That definitely looked fake, so that yeah. makes me feel a little bit better. Yeah, I definitely didn't want to see <laughs> things drop. Escaped. Crazy to think this is Thanos. It's actually insane to think about. <laughs> That's funny. Oh. Oh no. The, the dog. The <gasps> he didn't shoot the dog. No, the he dog shot the okay? other thing. I didn't. The dog probably ran. I don't know. Something happened to the dog. Whoa. Holy shit. Oh no, shoot. dog. Oh my. What happened? They were strapped too. They had that's like a Mac 10. Oh my goodness. Someone had to survive. Oh. I just gonna oh. move that out of the way real quick. <laughs> Let me borrow that. What's going on here? Yeah, Ooh, drug. okay. Yeah. It might have been just a shootout between them. Like a deal gone bad or something. Yeah. Oh. Someone got him. He's just collecting guns. <laughs> no, he's got some artillery with him now. He's got a rifle. He's good for any engagement. That's a whole lot of cash. My God, the f top row is like what fifty thousand. Yeah, that might knows be how dollars in there. Mm -hmm. And they started off started us off with such like an intense beginning into like now like this slow burnish story. It's like okay, what's going on here? Yeah, yeah. I'm try I'm curious how it connects. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? I'm fixing to do something dumber now, but I'm going anyways. Oh boy. Uh, okay. Tell mother I love her. Your mother's dead, Llewellyn. Well, then I'll tell her myself. Yeah. That's crazy, though. That was a crazy line. Uh, damn it. I'm trying to see what word what was yeah. on the map. Oh, so he's going back to, to, to view it again? Okay, let's see. Oh, he's getting the guy water. I mean, the I guy's mean, probably dead or gone. Yeah, I was going to say, so many hours later. Yeah, he's gone. Well, the door's shut now. He left the door open, which means someone's here. Yeah, someone, yeah, it looks like he is. Oh, wait, there was one. Okay, oh, yeah. So dude. people are watching. That would, that would, I would, I would literally be like, my heart would be racing. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> You might have to get yourself another shootout right now. Yeah, they have like strand patrol lights, bro. Like that. Oh my god. You're done. I don't know if this is the best idea. I mean, what other option do you have? Get in the water. Oof. Ah. Oof. Well, he's, he's getting in the water. Oh. How do you, how do you, he's dead, right? Like, what? Oh. Oh, you gotta be oh, joking me. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh. No, that dog doesn't give a shit. You're done, bro. Oh, he's coming. Could Look you imagine it. turning around and seeing that? You see that thing like, oh, come here. Dude, dude, that thing's like a crocodile. Just flowing with the current. Like, oh, my oh, God. How is it cooking so fast? It's moving. 
Oh, oh boy. Well. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Ah. This is one of the very few times where I'm like. You had to do it. Yeah. It. Be something else. I don't know. Will there? Bro. What time do you go to bed? Sir? What? You're a bit deaf, aren't you? I said, what time do you go to bed? Oh, gosh. He's being creepy. Yeah. Well, we come out here about four years ago. You married him, good. Has he even said what you want? Food? I don't. Oh, oh. there it is. <laughs> the most you ever lost on a coin toss. I don't know. I couldn't say. Calm down, Two Face. What's good? What? Oh, gosh. I didn't put nothing up. Yes, you did. You've been putting it up your whole life. You just didn't know it. You stand to win everything, call it. Does that mean you stand to lose everything? Yeah, at the, yeah, quite literally. Go ahead. Edge, no yeah. tails. Tails, tails, tails. Oh, he's dead. Well done. I'd be dead. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> what will get mixed in with the others and become just a coin? Which it is. He was about to kill that man. He, he 100%. said tails. He was gonna kill him. That was just that was Two Face before Two Face. Before Two Face came around. <laughs> Hold this, please. So he's got a crew he's working with. You getting anything on this? Not a bleep. Give me that. Oh fuck! No, he does not have a crew he's working with. I stand sorely mistaken. He's insane. Bro, that scared the living shoot out of me. Wouldn't think a car would burn like that. Yes, sir. We should have brought weenies. Uh. <laughs> man killed a Mars deputy, took his car, killed that man on the highway, swapped for his car, and now here it is, and he swapped again. That's very linear, Sheriff. Well, he li I, well we know he likes to kill people. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's smart. You never know what he's in. It's not using the same thing. That Mexican brown dope. Don't do it. Oh, these boys is all swole okay. up. I thought he was going to, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, okay. This thing has traumatized me. I don't want to yeah. see that in any more shots. I, if I ever see one in real life, I'm like, I stay away from me. Just... Especially if they like, get out of the car. I'd be like, <laughs> like a gum out. Oh, yeah. No way. <laughs> That's just a one thing fits it's all. It's just a, yeah. He got lucky because he obviously doesn't know this guy's coming after him, but he left he's because noticed. he's worried about like the Mexicans yeah. or whatever finding out where he is because they said that he said that they'd go to the court. So he got mm -hmm. lucky by leaving. Mm hmm. Such an interesting dynamic there being, you know, it's like we're watching him hunt the lawman <laughs> type of situation. It's like a reverse of what you're used yeah. to watching. Yeah. Well, it's like threefold, actually, because now we have lawmen that are hunting whoever, you know, I mean, him, technically, because they, they arrived at the scene of what just went down. Look at that lawman. They're going in? Gun out and up. You dingus. How did you not notice that lock immediately? Yeah. And I love how he's like, we're going in? I'm like, no, we're just going to walk away. From a busted lock. That's where the lock flew into. Yeah. I'm still sweating. Oh, Sheriff! We just missed him! <laughs> we got to circulate this on radio. Looking for a man who Please recently don't drink milk. that. Please, for the love of. Ah, oh, Sam, that's aggravating. You think this boy Moss has got any notion of the sorts of sons of bitches that are hunting him? I don't know. He ought to. Going in for part two. <laughs> My man said, I'm going to drink this whole thing. <laughs> Dude, I'd be so paranoid having that much money on me. Yeah. So he 
of the rope so we could get it out. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we can just pull it out. What is that, though? I think that will signal when he's close. Like, I think, mm. it, I think it's some kind of, like, pager or beeper or some kind of frequency detect. I think it's supposed to signal when he's close. Oh, you psychotic piece of shit. Ha get better aim, bro. Loser. Loser. Hell, nerd. You suck. Yeah. Huh. Tina's range gear. Oh. Didn't know that she... Been up to a nerds. lot. <laughs> yeah. We'll be having a conversation. 38 will be fine. It's got two double beds. Are you complaining, really? There's no one in this motel. Give me the room. <laughs> Look how close he holds his hand. He's even like... Um, everything he does is throwing me off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. But I wonder how that's at working. It. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. But I, I, I know I think it's meant to be like... If he, yeah, see? If he's close. Mm. Yeah, he knows. How smart is he? Yeah. Well, he can hear the clicking, the pacing of the click. I'm just wondering if he's smart enough to think, like, I wonder if he went to the other side, which I think is what he's about to. He no, definitely I think knows. He passed it. 138 was his room. Yeah, but he got 38 now. He's in 38. What? Is he or is he moving? He moved into 38, the opposite side. I thought he was still, like, moving his stuff into it. No. Oh, okay. Oh, dude. Yeah, he is yeah. smart. Yeah, so now he's just going to go to the other side, right? Oh, yeah, it also makes sense why he wanted 38, because he can get the money. Yeah. Oh. Jeez. That's a uh, different weapon. Well, that it's just a big suppressor. Oh my, I'm getting anxious. Uh, and no shoes, so you yeah, can't even dude. hear him. He's still at 138. Yeah, wait, yeah, what? Oh, gosh. Oh. Yeah, you, you gotta know now. Yeah, buddy. The, honestly, leave the fucking money at this point and let's like... Or like, you got one more try and hook it and go, you know, like... Oh, He's gonna kill him anyways. Oh, yeah, I mean, you can't have a witness. That's cool. Yeah, I, I knew damn well. I was like, there's no way. If you want that suitcase, yeah, I hope you pulled. He's literally on his trail, like, so like, close. Like, so close. Killed three men in Del Rio Motel yesterday and two others in that colossal goat fuck. We can stop that. Seem pretty sure of yourself. This guy's got to be pretty badass if he's that confident, you know? Yeah. I was wondering... Yes. Could you validate my parking ticket? He's about to pop him in. Attempted humor, I suppose. No, I'm sorry. Oh. Human nerves, he's going to, like, shoot him or some shit. I never know with these guys, with everyone anymore. You just call me if anyone else checks in tonight. By anyone, I mean any swinging dick. Okay, so he's, I mean, he's moving. He's moving. I just don't know how far behind this dude is. He's just counting it all, making sure it's there. I think because he sensed that, yeah. Oh. oh. So maybe that thing tracks the money. Mo so maybe the whole setup for the deal was to, like, they were going to probably end up killing them after they got the product to get their money back. Because, yeah, I remember this was a drug deal originally where this funds came from. 
Right. So I wonder if he found... Yeah, okay. Bro. The paranoia is insane. Like, like justifiably so, but like it, like my, like my paranoia right now. Like I'm just like, mm -hmm. I can feel that feeling that he's feeling of like, they could be right around the corner. <laughs> See that first of all. There's no explanation as to why someone's just going to stand there in front of a door. Oh, that's crazy. Even Turning out it... the lights in the hallway? Yeah, I there's that's I'm out of there. The lock going to fly off. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> I would not have wasted the opportunity like that. You had one shot. <laughs> that could have been a headshot. Ooh, that was yeah, way that was too close. close. You need to like, if that's not him, you need to GTA 6 or GTA 6, GTA 5 this. Ugh. Take that truck. I need you to drive me on out of here. Oh! 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 <laughs> Try to run into him. Boy, I ain't gonna hurt. Oh, oh Jesus. No. I would be so tempted just to like try to pop up and pop him right there. Even yeah, like just in the leg. But you know the risk, right? The risk uh, is you yeah, pop of course. Up and blown off in your head. Oof. That dude's reflexing some. No, this is not what I would do. Grab his gun though. You don't know if this guy's got something else, like a pistol or something. Hunter became the hunted for a second. So the only benefit he has right now is he currently has no tracker on him. Right. He he needs to get out of dodge. Like yeah. Now. Oh, oh he's going he... to Mexico. Not a vehicle like that. They're going to be like, and with $2 million? They're going to be like, what the? What the? Oh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Same guy. He, yeah. He, he, yeah. He's still bleeding. Well, he's in Mexico. He didn't, you didn't take the car, though. I'll give it here. Going good. Oh, I thought he wasn't going to do it. Bro, oh, that would be wild. With that beer, too. How much? He's like, I just gave y'all five hundred dollars. Give me the freaking beer. Wait, stuff whatever you can in your pockets first. I would have. <sighs> Border Patrol's like, yeah, you saw that too. No, like, why do you do that? Hey, the <laughs> people from. <laughs> Go grab it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't push on it. Why? 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 No. Oh, that was unexpected. <laughs> that was like all bile. He's going through it. Ooh. Yeah. Trying to blow it up. What's he trying to do? Yeah, he dipped to it, it in up. gas. Yeah, he's going to stick hat. I think he's gonna stick part of it in there. Yeah, he doesn't even give a I damn. I don't know. Was that his car? No, remember he's he, in that brown he, tr near the truck. Yeah, but remember he like nuked the... that one car he was in before? Yeah. Oh, he, he was yeah, I think he's just using it as like a distract. He's just God, like, I'm yeah. just gonna. Yeah. He knows how to light up a car. That's my car. Could you imagine being in the pharmacy, picking up a prescription, and your car just blows up? Oh, he's leaking. 
Oh, he's like boots filled up with blood. Jeez. I guess he got caught. It's so good that we have like such more advanced technology and internet and all that kind of stuff nowadays because there's mm -hmm. a lot of stuff you could pull off back then and just get away with it for a while. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. some people did, you know? Light a cane. Okay. I mean, yeah, he went to the pharmacy. He knew exactly what he wanted to get. Yeah. My name is Stas. I'm guessing this isn't the future you had pictured for yourself when you first clapped eyes on that money. This guy, I don't, we haven't seen him in action, but like, I, I trust yeah. he could do something, you know? Yeah, like, tracked him down. It, right. His name's Shiger. Sugar. Sugar. Anton Sugar. You won't find me again. Well, not that way. Not anyway. Took me about three hours. Yeah, exactly. True. Look, you got to give me this money. I got no other reason to protect you. Got a million and a half on whores and whiskey and the rest of it just sort of blew it in. And he's not going to buy that. Right. Why would he go to Odessa? Kill your wife. Oof. True. Even if you gave him the money back, he'd still kill you just for inconveniencing him. No, he don't talk as much as you. I give him points for that. <laughs> just because he messed right, up. Right, he just... Himself. The, the whole transaction. Yeah, he has the like, money. Yeah. These people will kill him, Carla Jean. They won't quit. He won't neither. He never has. When Llewellyn calls, just tell him I can make him safe. So now he's got two guys that are trying to make him safe. Use an air gun. Shoots that little nope. rod about that far into the brain. Sucks right back in. Animal never knows what hit him. There it is. He's not putting it together? Why are you telling me that, Sheriff? My mind wanders. I don't know if it's wandering. I think it sounds like it's pretty on track. Mm-hmm. Well, he found his money. Mm-hmm. How you gonna get down there, partner? Bro, if there's a million dollars in there, I'll fucking get down there. You'll fast. See, I'll you'll see me do a back handspring over that fence. If there wasn't a million dollars, I don't know how Oh shoot. Ooh. Let's go to your room. Oh, that's my crazy. Lord. Make it worth your while. Take you to an ATM. There's 14 grand in it. An ATM. He's interested in a lot more money than that. Mm hmm. If the rule you followed brought you to this, of what use was the rule? Do you have you any know? idea? How crazy you are. <laughs> you could have the money, Anton. Oh, that scared the... You've got to be joking me. This movie has jump scared me way more times than I expected it to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Not in the sense that you mean. Come see me. Who is this? Come on, man. Catch up. Yeah. You're in the hospital across the river, but that's not where I'm going. Do you know where I'm going? To get the money? Mm -mm. You bring me the money and I let her go. Otherwise, she's accountable. The same as you. Oh. Bro, he does, he has no emotion. Zero. Mm -hmm. You ain't gonna have to come look for me at all. Damn. It's like, what do you freaking do? They rent out rooms to old people, kill them, bury them in the yard, cash their social security checks. That's crazy. Yes, she does. Put her on. Do you know what time it is? I don't care what time it is, and don't you hang up this phone. I mean, like, you gotta fly to Turkey now. Sorry, you gotta, <laughs> it, you gotta get the heck out of here. There's only one place he can't find you. Antarctica. <laughs> <laughs> Go. 
Because I'm going to give you the money, I'm going to put you on a plane. Llewellyn, I ain't going to leave you in the lurch. No, look, this works better. With look, with you got to go, girl. Mm hmm. If I ever see a door lock fly oh, out like dude. that, I'm out. Oh, no. Wait, was that a bulletproof vest? Oh, no, no, I think just him and like <laughs> Holy crap, bro. Is that Milton? Oh, shit. Not him? Me? Yes. Nobody. No, I know not him. I didn't even think about that. Is it? I don't know. He gave the Mexicans a receiver. You going to shoot me? Probably. You got to run, bro. Yeah. No, or you can jump out the window. Take heads. That depends. Do you see me? Oh, God. Yeah, that's probably the end of him. I'd be like, see who? Wait. Why am I even talking to myself right now? I'd be like, I've been blind <laughs> this whole time. You know how many people I know in El Paso, Texas? Oh, ma'am. Oh, this poor dude. That's how many. This poor, poor soul. No, no. No te acerques. Ay, 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 ay. Going to El Paso, don't ask me why. It's not often you see a Mexican in a suit. Oh. If I tell you where Llewellyn's headed, you promise it'll be just you who goes and talks with him? You and nobody else. Uh... What's the problem there, neighbor? Yep. <laughs> That'll suck some power. This guy's dead. Yep. The airport is El Paso. You gonna clamp him, buddy? Can you get those chicken grates out oh, of the bed? Please don't clamp them on him. I mean, at least he probably didn't harm the chickens. Where are the chickens? Stay. He left. Where? He said, "Can you get them out of the bed?" Because he just did, probably didn't want to carry them. Like, you think he just left them on the side of the road? And you think that's not harming them? Um, hello? Oh. Oh, she got popped. They were running. Like, away from something. Uh, I don't think they, oh. they were, unless they did this. I'm not on the radio. I met his daughter at the, uh... Jeez, okay. No. No money in his room, there. Couple hundred on his person. Wait, they got him? He got him? He died. He died. I don't think it wasn't. It wasn't. What's his name? You think he's in there? That's why I'm like so nervous that he is. Because he's not worried about any of that kind of stuff. It doesn't bother yeah. him. Yeah. Is the lock blown out? Yeah. Lock's blown out. Oh, crap. He, he's waiting. Oh. Bro. Oh. That was so tense. That was crazy. Oh. One, two, okay. three, four. Oh. How'd you know I was here? Who else would be driving Five, up six, your seven, truck? Eight, 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 eight. You heard it? That was it. Did you hear me? Like ten. That man that shot you died in prison. Spend trying to get back what's been took from you. More is going out the door. After a while, you just have to try to get a tourniquet on it. Wow.
Mm. It's a wild line. Yeah. Loretta tells me you're quitting. How come you're doing that? I always figured when I got older, God would sort of come into my life somehow. I don't blame him. A job like that can really mess with your mind, make you really feel all kinds of things. Mm hmm Daddy ever tell you how Uncle Mac come to his reward? Gunned down on his own porch over in Hudspeth County. Shot through the left lung. And that was that. As they say. Jeez. When was it? I believe it was that night. She buried him the next morning. You can't stop what's coming. That's terrifying. Mm-hmm. Oh, please. Please, oh. please, please, please. I just please, knew no. he was going to be here. I just knew it. I ain't got the money. People need to run more. I'd be out mm -hmm. of there so quick. Gone. You gave your word to my husband to kill me? Your husband had the opportunity to save you. He is a psycho. Yeah, he's sick. Okay. Coin? Head, 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 head. I know she was crazy when I saw you sitting there. Tails only sometimes fails. Call it. No. Girl, call it. The coin don't have no say. Maybe it's like a it's loophole. It's just you. Hey, if I don't call it, you can't make it. You can't make that decision. I you did it. Probably. I mean, let's be realistic. Oh, oh. son of a! Holy Lord, have mercy! Oh gosh, jeez. That scared the fuck out of me. Oh my yeah. god. Oh. Oh, Sheesh. Lord, what's up? Oh. E. I'll give you my shirt. Now he's in that a similar situation, you know, where he's like mm -hmm. begging for help and using a shirt and Oh. Uh... Take it and You didn't see me. No part of that's mine, right? You still got your <laughs> damn shirt. <laughs> Brother, you just got paid like a hundred bucks. I would not be mad about a shirt. How'd you sleep? I don't know. I had dreams. Two of them. Both had my father in them. It's peculiar. I'm older now than he ever was by 20 years. Anyway, the first one That's I don't trippy. remember too well. Yeah. He didn't give me some money. I think I lost it. The second one, it was like we was both back in the older times. Rode past me and kept on going. Never said nothing going by. Just rode on past. He's fixing to make a fire somewhere out there and all that dark and all that cold. And then I woke up. Wow. 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 Now the Cohen brothers. All right. That was our reaction to No Country for Old Men. That was a, a a really fascinating movie. Uh, before we get into our review, if you liked what you're watching, leave a like down below. Subscribe to stay tuned for more if you're not already. And if you want to watch our full-length reaction to this, various other movies, as well as three, get three edited movie reactions ahead of YouTube. Check that out on Patreon. The link for that is in the description. Zay, why don't you take it away first if if you want? Yeah. Um. Yeah, this movie was very interesting because... um. I liked it. Well, I'll say one thing I liked about that also immediately is going to separate it from a lot of films is that we have you have like your story of like, you know, there's a protagonist in a sense and the antagonist. However, there was no technically really happy ending. In fact, it right. really was like a very sad ending. The only happy ending was that the sheriff retired. He finally just was like he called it quits and might be able to get to relax. Um, but the killer's still on the loose. 
I mean, uh, Llewellyn died. His girl died. The mother died. Like, really, like, it was really a very tragic, but very, very well, well written and uh, well directed story. Um, they did a very, the Coen brothers did a very good, good job with um, the use of silence, I think, to build up intensity and to build like that tension. We saw, especially at the motel um, at the very end, where, you know, we're looking at um, the killer on the one side. And then we're seeing the sheriff on the other side, kind of like out of the blown out door. Um, and it's just, yeah, it was very, very uh, well done use of silence in uh, moments. Um, very well done pacing from that very fast paced beginning of like, holy shit, they just throw us into it. And then like the slow burn of seeing Llewellyn like discover the cars and start to piece together or trying to piece together what happens and everything and how he arrives with the money and then just building up the tension throughout the story. Um this cat and mouse game that's going on the whole time. And then the person that we think is going to save him, uh, the, I forget his, I don't remember the dude's name. The dude that we thought was going to be a badass gets oh, taken Woody out. Like, character. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like it was very, it was a very, very interesting story. I can see why it's a classic for sure. Um, Cause it's just a very unique story that it, it's, I feel like it would be very hard to, it's very hard to maintain multiple. Uh, well, it can be hard uh, to maintain stories like this, where you have one chase, you have three, two chases going on, or th- kind of three actually, because Woody Harrelson's character at some point steps in to chase down Llewellyn. But um, yeah, overall, very well organized. Writing was absolutely awesome. There's some very cool shots um, throughout the film as well, and um, just great directing. Yeah. Yeah. Something, uh, uh, of course, uh, that I love about movies is how subjective they are and the type of experiences people have may be different so of course Mm -hmm. if you guys have had an experience with with this movie that was different than ours leave a comment down below maybe there's something we missed or something like that but for me one of the big aspects i've picked up from this movie that i felt like they were capturing was the unpredictability the the unpredictable nature of life how Mm -hmm. sometimes things just aren't gonna go the the right way or the best way and sometimes things just happen sometimes the 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 bad guy wins maybe he gets hit by a freaking car maybe mm-hmm. uh may, you know maybe the, the the hunter you think that is going to help us out at the end of the day maybe he just gets shot like there, there were they did a really good job at kind of like getting really gritty and realistic and um really subverting expectations and kind of capturing that unpredictability of yeah. of life but they they were able to still kind of encapsulate it in this really like really interesting and thought provoking story which like you said it was really interesting to see like the three different sides to everything like the 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 chase aspect the suspense the silence like you mentioned was executed very very well um there was not a single moment in this movie where I knew for sure like what was going to happen. It was always just like it, it was really up in the air. And talk about the jump mm-hmm. scares! Like holy crap! Like this yeah. this movie had way more jump scares than I ever expected. I didn't know like more than some horror movies that we watched. So they did a really good job with that as well. I love the writing, the dialogue, the the imagery that was captured throughout some of the like. Um, I guess monologues or storytelling aspects where uh, the characters like go deep into their thoughts or their perspective and um, or their experience. And I thought they did a really good job there, especially with the end um, and, and the, the, the symbolism that that might like kind of represent kind of sounds like, you know, like I just kind of like he did retire, but like maybe there's that idea of like kind of like that light at the end of the tunnel or something like that. Um, again, you guys can leave, a comment down below uh your interpretations i think that one one of a movie like this uh definitely would require a rewatch for me to like understand everything mm-hmm. uh i was telling isaiah this uh right before we got into the review like that i had a lot to do today and i did not expect to be as tired as i was you might have seen me yawning a couple times it's not because of the movie at all it's just this is the first time that i've ever like sat down and like was like oh my gosh, am I going to make it through this? Mm -hmm. Uh, But I still was encapsulated the whole time. And so, you know, with a movie that when you're as tired as, you know, I was today and and you're watching a movie that's also a slow burn, 
something that can mm. still keep you your eyes like on the screen still keep you attentive and immersed it that that says a lot about the movie in and of itself because i i wanted to find out like you know where this was going so overall i really really enjoyed the film um there might have been again aspects that i might have missed um might have been aspects you might have missed or there might have been things that we nailed on the head again i i uh it's always great to hear what you guys have to say you guys always have like put down like really cool behind the scenes facts too about the movies um the characters in this film were iconic tommy lee jones character even woody harrelson's character like just Mm -hmm. for the short amount of time they were on but most importantly like the guy who plays the serial killer like holy crap that acting was top tier acting like i love watching a movie where you where you just you get so genuinely surprised by how well the performance was and this was one Mm -hmm. of those movies where i was just like holy crap that dude did a good job um but yeah so i a really entertaining movie lots of deep um thought-provoking dialogue and uh like you said really good pacing i I really enjoyed it all right right. well uh, any final thoughts before we get into the rating no i'm ready all right so with that being said, uh, let's get into the rating. We do go from zero to ten, and we never give out zeros. We never give out tens. Why? Well, because by giving out a zero, you're saying nothing could ever be worse than this movie. By giving out a ten, you're saying nothing could ever be better than this movie. Both those things are impossible to say. That's our subjective opinion. Five is average. Six is good. Uh, seven is great. Eight is beyond that. Nine is top tier cinema. Zay, where would you put this movie? I mean, I, I'd probably put this movie down at like a, a, a nine, if not a nine point two five. I think that. Um, I think that the writing for, like I said, the writing for this movie was absolutely fantastic. I think that they not only developed each character uh very well, um, but they also, you know, they all the way the story inter- their stories intertwined and everything was done uh seamlessly in my opinion. I just think that uh again the acting was stellar. Obviously, they they had a great cast and the use of silence in certain situations, how they could build tense, uh, that tension, that intensity, and how they could almost like mellow it out, mellow it out for a moment. But just every time you're on Llewellyn, you always have the thought in the back of your mind, like this guy is on his way to kill him. And he doesn't even like know, like to the extent how far this guy's gonna go. Um, and the sheriff just wanting to help the woman, and it's just and just everything was pieced together and done super super well um i mean if i had a criticism i mean i think like the very end got a little bit dragged out it was like still good i like i still enjoyed it but um that's just i mean that's just my opinion i think it was like a little bit i was kind of like towards the end of like all right like are we like what's next or like is this is it wrapping up or what are we kind of doing here um some of you guys might disagree with that if you do let me know why you disagree with it or what your opinion is on it but um yeah like nine to nine point two five for this film for sure yeah um i'm gonna have to probably give this movie a probably like an 8.9 to a nine to a nine somewhere in there i i think it it, it definitely has potential to maybe even be better than that rating again it's something i'm gonna have to really um watch back and 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 it would be one of this is a movie I would love to see it like an anal like a like a deep dive into. Mm-hmm. Like I would love to like go and, and see if some people have done like um like extensive analysis on this movie and kind of hear what their thoughts were. Uh but I did like the themes presented and I really liked the idea towards the first and the second act where like we're just like this guy is being hunted down, but he thinks it's by somebody else, but it's not by somebody else, but there's a connection with, with it all but i i just thought it was it was like um really cool to see and they did a they did a really good job at like establishing the threat level of everything and really like creating a world where you're like geez like if i was in this situation like holy crap like what would i do where would i go like it, wh- where does it end um it was a slow burn but it still had the essence of a high stakes type of thriller yeah action movie even though it wasn't like too much um every time that man entered the room you're you're like you're just eyes mm-hmm. on him just like what's going to happen next they they utilize uh, i think again the 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 
the biggest like aspects of this movie that I was genuinely wowed by and surprised by probably more than any other film that I've ever seen uh, that they captured well the best was the subversion of expectations and the unexpectedness of yeah. uh, how the story ultimately played out, but it still had a um, uh, satisfying conclusion in the sense that it 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 pulled everything off like it like like there is a world where somebody tries to make a movie with this much unex unexpected um outcome and this much subversion and then people are just like what the heck was that like what well, like right, but yeah, but yeah. they managed to do it in a way that just felt natural and felt like the the like this this would could play out this way um theoretically uh yeah, I, I I really thought that they did a good they did a good job here. So props to the Coen brothers. All the acting was absolutely phenomenal. Um, you know, there there even managed to be like just little moments of of humor in there as well, which was kind mm -hmm. of unexpected. But you know, they managed to get it in there. Uh, yeah, really, really, really interesting movie. Guys, leave a comment down below. Something uh that you really liked about this movie. So one of the themes, or maybe um how you interpreted some of the um you know some of the stories that were were presented here and and some of the situations and maybe what would you do if you were in a situation like that but with that being said uh listen guys thank you for being here uh and thank you for the support zay i know you have a twitch yes guys my twitch will be linked down in the description below feel free to tune in stop by say hi I'm on there usually throughout the week, especially on the weekends. So I play all sorts of games. We watch, we reacted like YouTube stuff, not anything like crazy, like films or anything, but you know, some funny shows, even I was doing game trailers the other day because I'm a big gamer. So um, if you're interested in that, feel free to stop by and say hi. Sometimes I have Cameron on there as well. It's another way for you guys to get to interact with us in a live, um, in a live sphere. So uh, yeah. Yeah. Check it out guys. It is a great time with that being said. Listen, if you come across a big shootout situation and there's a whole bunch of money, maybe it's best to just report it to the authorities and back off. Uh, you don't know what kind of stuff you could be getting yourself into. Listen, we'll, we'll see you guys on the next one. And peace.